Well, welcome to World Breaker Coo's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coo, and today we are reviewing God Doom and Zimnu. Okay? Oh, one's a builder figure, one's a single carded figure without any builder figure pieces. We will start with Yeah, we'll start with Zimnu. Okay. So Zimnu is a builder figure that I was not planning on getting, but when I realized I had four of these figures planned for the wave and that the other three are not actually bad at all, I decided to complete the whole way. Okay. So he's part of that. And he has bits and pieces of just about everybody. And because I have a lot of pieces from where he's composed out of, I'm going to show you. Okay. So exhibit A, he has taken the color from uh, Wendigo, the color and the, really call it the color, really, the color. Okay. Then exhibit two. And I know I'm stretching here. The red eyes from Man Thing. <laughs> you might disagree, but I I had to bring Man Thing in. He never gets out. So got the red eyes from Man Thing, even though it's not the same sculpt at all. Then he has stolen something important from my boy Sasquatch. So I, Sasquatch, what did he steal from you? Oh, your crotch. <laughs> if you look, these crotches are not the same. So yes, he stole Sasquatch's crotch, and Sasquatch is not too happy about that. So, yeah, um, he's a big boy, um, but he's fun. Uh, the pieces that he added that are new are for one this belt. Um, without the belt, he'd be the same body as Sasquatch and Winnego. Um, his hands—he looks kind of like a grimace or a uh, snuffleupagus. Now, I like the tech here on the inside of his hands. I wish we would have got another hand that was open so you can see the tech again because I really do like that for some reason. In his head, his head is so psychotic. It's crazy. And um, this guy's kind of OP. He's like able to read, um, to take over people's minds as long as you don't touch them. And he's a Hulk villain. He can you take over inanimate machines. I guess it's machines that don't have AI. I'm not really as familiar, even though I read comics, but I'm just not really familiar with this guy because I'm not currently reading the Hulk. Um, but yeah, let me get you a size comparison with the Hulk so you can know where he stands. All right, so that's that's a good size. Captain America just for fun. Uh, that's a good size. I think he looks nice next to the Hulk. And for those of you who have a Mortal Hulk, stay tuned. Give me one second. So if you look here, Mortal Hulk's a lot bigger than him here. I mean, it could still work. Um, it could still work. A Rampage of Hulk, I should say. And the last comparison, let's get him next to Lady Death, because she's so nice. She's just beautiful. So that's it. If I had to score Zimnu out of 10, I'd give him a solid 8. Solid 8. 8, eight for effort. All right. And lastly, we have God Doom. Okay, I don't even like saying that really, to be honest with you, but we have Doom. Um, and he comes with several accessories. He comes with two hands, displayed hands, which I'll never put on there because those look stupid. And he has a trigger finger um, hand because he has his classic gun right there in the little knapsack. I'm not going to take it all the way out, but you can see it's silver. It's the gun that he had before. Now. Is this the same body as before? Not quite. As you can see, we have the same leg, same uh, skirt, <laughs> same ar arms, legs. The face is the same. It's just a different, well, actually, is it? Yeah, the face is the same. Um, mine, this one has gold eyes and reflection there. This one has, it looks to be brown eyes, but it's the same, uh, but his cape's different. His cape's different. He 
he doesn't have the boosters here um, because he doesn't need to. He's freaking like the ruler of an entire universe. So if you have not read Secret Wars, and I've got them all, um, this is just a sample of how he looked in Secret Wars. He was a boss. So there he is right there uh, with Doctor Strange. He basically saved the Marvel Universe in a nutshell. It's one of the best stories I've ever read. Um, and from Marvel, it's probably my favorite one. But look at that. On your knees. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's power right there. And the other accessory comes with is Thanos. He comes with Thanos. Or should I say the skull of Thanos. Um, there's Thanos' the skull right there. Um, he does, has a real cool scene with the Phoenix and Thanos. And I think it's worth watching. Um, it's really cool, actually. So they did a good job sculpting this. This is quite gruesome, but I love it. Um, what else? His, his, his chest is new. Um, it's not the same color. Like, this is a darker, more rustic silver. This one's more of a bright silver. Um, I will say, though, that Doom and this guy both had, like, a weird film on both of them that I had to wash off. I don't know what that was about. That was really strange. It was, like, a white powdery film. So, be careful with yours. Let me know in the comments if you had the same type of film. I've heard several people who've had it. Um, and who knows? Maybe it came from the build-up figure. This guy, maybe those pieces were just a little bit more not unfinished. But overall, I do like this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving that we got God Doom, especially from one of the best Marvel events in years. If I had to rate him, uh, I would give him a 8.5 out of 10. Um, only because I wish we had a cloth cape. I know we're not going to get one, but it would have been nice to get a cloth cape instead of this one. Um, just so he can stand a little bit better. He already stands a little bit better than his counterpart because my Doom seems to always want to lean back a bit, but that's okay. Um, now, let's do my overall ratings of my favorite, my least favorite to favorite. All right, from left to right, my favorite to least favorite, we've got the uh, the hood. And my hood, I've changed the head because I got tired of seeing the screaming face. So he's my least favorite, and you should know why, because of the head. Um, then follow after him, we have uh, Dor Dormammu, Arcade, uh, Red Skull, uh, God Doom, Zemnu, then we've got Aim Scientist Supreme, and my favorite of the wave is no surprise if you're an X-Men fan, it is Lady Deathstrike. So all in all, this is a really good wave. I really do dig it. I think you will too. Until next time, peace and chicken grease.